Good morning, boys and girls, or afternoon, depending on whenever you are watching this. Welcome back. Today, we are going to be talking about main idea. So a little bit of information in case your parents ever need to contact me. Again, we have my number here. And if they have not yet joined Remind, they can text at H-B-U-C-K-M-A to 81010. And that way we can text back and forth. Uh, throughout the week, I hope that you guys, if you are able, are working through iReady and the Shelby County Schools packets. Uh, those are those iReady packets that are really helpful. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about, again, like I said, main idea. So our standard today is RL 3.2. And it says, determine the main idea of a text, recount the key details, and explain how they support the main idea. So we're going to be focusing on the main idea and how we can use key details to help us do that. So in order to do this, we're going to have to know what main idea means, and we're going to have to be able to use key details to determine the main idea. So let's get started. First, it's our favorite video, had to get us hyped up for this. So if you are somewhere that you want to dance along to this, go for it. mostly about you have to read the whole text just to figure it out this can be tricky so you have to watch it to find the main idea you have to know the topic look at the title when making inference go back to the text you must find evidence to figure out if your guess was correct if you struggle with this i want you to calm your nerves process the text look for repeated words how to analyze the text you must learn the question is what does the author want me to know when you figure that out then you will know main idea main idea do you know the main idea main idea main idea do you know the main idea main idea main idea do you know the main idea main idea main idea do you know the main idea you can find it in a middle of a paragraph you can find it in the first sentence sentence you can find it in the last sentence Okay, so again, the main idea is the gist. It is the big idea and it is what the text is mostly about. So last time we talked about how key details or pieces of the text, your main idea is gonna be what all those key details have to do with. So if we look right here at this picture, the main idea is what a text is mostly about. We can look at the title and pictures. Sometimes the main idea is in the first and last sentence. And we can also look for clue words repeated over and over. So again, just like our song told us. Again, if I'm ever moving too fast or you want more time to think, you can always pause and you can also rewind and watch stuff again if you need to. So now that we know what the main idea is, let's see about how we might use it. So we got another fun little video. Let's watch this. There are all kinds of crimes in this city and all sorts of clues to solving them. But when those clues are hidden in a piece of text, that's when they call me in. Detective Dietz, Text Analysis Unit. What's going on, officer? Missing person detective. Detective, 
The neighbor says the man who lives here went to his mailbox earlier today, and now he's vanished. Third case like this today. Mailbox left open, two red shoes sitting right in front of it. Hmm, any other clues? Just this article that was in the mailbox. Let's see if we can get the main idea. Deke Malloy has been hunting for comets in the night sky for many years. He hopes to one day discover a new comet that will be named after him. He also knows that many things in the sky can be mistaken for comets. Airplanes, meteors, even the planet Venus. So when he found something strange in the sky one night, he thought he should double check what it was. Now to get the main idea. We need to find the main topic of the article, and the most important point about the main topic. The main topic seems pretty easy. Deke Malloy. He's the only one in this article. What do we know about him? He has been looking for comets for many years. He hopes to discover a new comet, and he found something strange in the sky one night. I think finding something strange in the sky is probably the most important of these things. So I need to put the main topic, Deke Malloy, together with the most important point to get the main idea. Deke Malloy found something strange while searching the sky one night. That's the main idea? Do you think it's connected to these shoes? I'm not sure. I think we had better find the steep Malloy. So I want you to think to yourself, what did this detective do to find the main idea? So one way that he determined the main idea was to think about what the most important part of the story was. So that he was looking in the night sky was a key detail, but it wasn't what was most important. The next slide. Okay, we're gonna actually watch this video at the end, so we will come back to this. Okay, let's look at an example. Okay, read the story with me. We use our eyes from the time we open them in the morning until we close them at night. Our eyes help us see our favorite things, see where we're going, do our homework, and play sports. So it's important that we take care of our eyes. How can you keep your eyes healthy? You keep your eyes healthy by eating right and choosing a variety of fruits and vegetables. Wearing eye protection when playing sports and washing your hands before putting them close to your eyes are also important. So if we're thinking about the main idea of these two paragraphs, we have four choices that we're going to choose between. A says there are many ways to keep our eyes safe and healthy. B says sight is the most important sense we have, so we need to take care of our eyes. C says we use our eyes all day from the moment we wake up until we go to bed at night. And D, our eyes keep us our eyes help us do many important things, so we need to keep them safe and healthy. Think to yourself for a moment about what both paragraphs were about. And you'll notice that all of these choices are true statements. They are all, we read about all of them in the story, but only one of them has enough of the key details to be what this text is mostly about. So if we look at A, for example, there are many ways to keep our eyes healthy and safe. That is true, there are, but they only talk about that in paragraph two. They don't mention it in paragraph one. So that cannot be our correct answer. So I'll give you a second to think. Again, if you need to pause this to think longer, you can. Our main idea is D. Our eyes help us do many important things so we keep them healthy and safe. If you also thought D was the correct answer, give yourself a pat on the back. All right, class, I know you're ready for the weekend. Don't forget about your five-page paper and make sure that you express your main idea and back it up. Uh, listen up, lend me an ear. The hot new thing is the main idea. Supported by the details to keep it all clear. The main idea is the reason that we're all here. Yeah, come on, let me in here. The hot new thing.
thing is the main idea Supported by the details to keep it all clear The main idea is the reason that we're all here Have you ever read something and when you got to the end yeah. You didn't get the point, nope, you didn't understand uh -huh. Well let me break it down for the next time you read There's gonna be three basic things you see The subject, main idea, and the details Sort of like a city, the house, the people yeah. The subject is the broad thing that it's about The main idea What's that now? It's the main thing the writer wants to say It's the central point, you get it? Okay, you can often find it in the first couple lines But it could be anywhere, so go find it It's supported by specific details yeah. The facts and the sentences, be real yeah. They should add up to make the main idea, kids They form up like cheerleaders in the pyramid Like I just read an article called Bare Facts And it talked about how they could be brown or black Polar or grizzly or another type They're all good hunters and they know how to fight Cause they have big claws so they can catch fish And big sharp teeth that they eat with And if they want to climb a tree to find something to eat Their super sharp claws are all that they need See? Now let's break it down I mean, let's dig deeper in the article I found What's the subject? And what would be the main idea they had there? The bears are good hunters, that's most important the details they had to support it they have large teeth paws and claws and that's how you know hunting is a bear's job listen up lend me an ear the hot new thing is the main idea supported by the details to keep it all clear the main idea is the reason that we're all here yeah come on let me in here the hot new thing is the main idea supported by the details to keep it all clear the main idea is the reason that we're all here i just read a story about a boy named ben okay. on the first day of school well, what happened then ben clutched his new backpack and walked in with a big smile when he saw his old friends tried to play a cool when he saw his old crush uh -oh. but when she was close his mind turned to mush what? he liked his art teacher that class was real fun and was so worked up that he could hardly eat lunch oh. now what's the subject ben's first day of school and what's the main idea what's the author want to prove ben's first day of school was exciting and details to back that up where are they hiding when ben saw his old friends he was psyched and he was nervous around the girl that he liked he even had a backpack that was brand new now i get the main idea can you So, whenever we're reading something, there's three things that they said would be in the story. What's the first thing? The subject. That is who or what the story is about. Then we have the main idea, which is what the author wants us to know, the gist, the big idea, what it is mostly about. And then we have the key details. So we're gonna look at a story and see if we can find those three things together. So this story is called The Storm. The rain began early in the morning. It fell as hard drops, one after another. The sky was full of dark purple clouds. Thunder began as a soft rumble and began louder and louder. Lightning crashed every few minutes, making the sky a brilliant white. So the first thing we need to look for is the subject. So what is the story about? The storm. So the storm would be my subject. So now that we know the subject, we need to dive deeper into what the main idea is. So looking at our answer choices down here, is it A, the farms needed the rain, B, the thunder hurt the people's ears, C, lightning made the sky bright, or D, the storm was very strong. So let's look at our answer choices. A and B, while they might be true, are never mentioned in this story. They say nothing about a farm, even though we know farms do need rain, it's not talked about up here. The thunder hurt people's ears. We know that the thunder's loud, but again, that's only a small piece of the story. So we're between C and D. What do we think it is? If you said D, the storm was very strong, you would be correct because that is what every sentence in here is about. 
It all goes back to the storm. So now, because at the beginning I said we would have to use our key details to support the main idea, how do we know that the storm was very strong? What happened that tells us that it was a, so a strong storm? Let's see if we can find some key details that tell us that the storm was very strong. We know the rain fell as hard drops. The thunder began as a soft rumble, but became louder and louder. So knowing that the thunder was loud tells us that the storm is strong. And that lightning crashed every few minutes, making the sky a brilliant white also tells us that the storm was very strong. So again, my main idea was D and these that I have underlined here are my three details that tell me how I know that the storm was very strong. So this week, if you can get on iReady, I have assigned some lessons on there. And there is also a lesson on discovery education, which I have sent your parents a message on how to access. If you log on to Clever, there is a button that says discovery education. You click on that and then you'll be able to see your assigned lessons. And it says 3.2 main idea, I do believe. So discovery education you can do on any device. So I hope you are all able to complete it. There will be, there's more videos that you can watch and um, I think two questions that you can answer about a video and then one about a reading. Uh, the reading is about Cleopatra, who we, who we have talked about a little bit in a past reading. She was a pharaoh of Egypt. So if you look on that board, you'll learn some really fun stuff about Egypt as well. I will talk to you guys next week.